Hello everyone, my name is Makar and this is the first slide show, uh, where we will discuss about the how the Microsoft Business Studio will help you to develop the BI application. Uh, so as you know, I mean the Business Intelligence Studio consists of the Introduction Services, Reporting Services and Q, that's the SSAS. So all these components and their project templates is available. Once you install the SQL Server, you'll find that will be uh, available for your development. So this ID is, you can see that the SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio, you can find this inside the your SQL Server IDs and that you have installed. It's coming with the 2005 also. And then we have 2008, 2008 R2. So this is a thin client that is uh, integrated with the the ID, everything you'll find that the similar to the Visual Studio. So who has worked on the Visual Studio, they will find very much comfortable to work on the intelligence, business intelligence development studio. So, but there is no dependency that you should not have, it's not required to install the Visual Studio to access this. So once you install SQL Server, it will come up with that. So once you go on the file, new project, and as you see, choose the project. It will show you the list of the projects. So this is the project type business intelligence project. So in that project, you'll find the different kind of the templates that you can use for your development. So majorly, we work on the report server projects to develop the SSRS report. Report model is the kind of project that helps you to report, develop the report model. This is the another kind of the reporting that gives us the or user to develop the report in their own way. So the, all the metadata is published there and they can just drag and drop and they can define the filters and they can develop their own report and save on the report server. So the next one is the integration service projects. So this project is especially used for the development of ETL application. So the SSIS development will start with this project and Another one is the analysis service project. So this project template is used to develop the queue. So in this way, whatever the template that you choose, you will start to develop and you'll find that kind of the ID will be appear in your uh, Visual Studio. For example, and I'm selecting the integration service project and at the bottom line, you can provide your project name and you can select the location where you want to save your project and this is the name of the solution. So these are some settings that you can set as for your uh, requirement. My first project. So this is the name of my project. Or the best way is that we can use if the name of the technology Set. And it's always helpful to use the camel notation. Use the first character of every word as a capital and don't use the space, just concatenate them. So it will be easier to access, easier to find, and easier to use. So it's the first project of this is Now I need to click OK. Once I'll click OK, it will take some time and it will appear with all the components that will be required to develop the ETL. So, similarly, I mean, it's the SSI project. Similarly, we can choose the reporting project. Similarly, we can choose the queue project. And you'll see that the, your ID will come up with the, uh, the required component to develop that kind of the project. So here you'll find the solution for the, the unit that we'll use to develop the ITL is a package. And its file type is a DTSX. In this section, you'll find the four windows control flow, data flow, event handler, and package explorer. So, as per your selection, you'll find that the toolbox component is getting changed. I have selected the control flow, you'll find these are the components that is available to develop your control flow. If you go on the data flow, it will ask you to add at least one control flow object that name is the data flow. So you have the way to click on there is no data flow task, so just you need to click here so it will add the one data flow. 
and in this case you will see that the toolbox component has been changed so in data flow you will find that the component is the source component, transformation component and destination components so these components have been changed now if you are opening the reporting project so I will go and I will open to new projects and now I wanted to develop some reports so I will click ok it will ask you do you want to save yes or no it's up to you definitely in real life we will say yes otherwise we will lose your whatever development that we have done that will be lost so definitely we will say now in the first project you will see that the SFS first project you will find that there are the other folders zero data so data and reports are added so what you need to do is firstly you need to add the new items and as you said that the package of DTSS we have the view which is that the report to RDL so this is the first component that we need to add to start our report development so once you add that then you'll find that the your canvas where you can design your report as per your requirements you'll find the set of the tools component in the toolbox that you can use and with the help of that you can develop your report so in a later video we'll learn more about that the how to develop reports what are the meaning of these components how to use that not only for the reporting we will use the same for the SSIs and SSAs so similarly we can use and select the SSAs project and actually start the give you the required component to develop the SSAs process